Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Um, so what I wanted to go over with you guys today, um, and I know most people are using Facebook and Instagram and there are a number of people that are using LinkedIn. And what I wanted to give you guys today is the number one best way to use LinkedIn, Facebook and Instagram if you're in a health and wellness related network marketing opportunity. So if you have shakes, or whatever you're doing. Hi, Angela. Hey, Nick. Ed. Malam, good to see you on here. So if you are coming on here, say hi and where you're coming in from. Um, and I do have a free PDF on this content. And all you need to do is hit the share button, either share it on your personal page or on a team page and use the hashtag I shared and I will send you a link to download that. So, so to know that you guys can all hear me, please say hi and where you're coming in from, or you can give me some hearts, some thumbs, some smiley faces so I know that I'm coming through loud and clear and everyone is able to gain this opportunity to learn. So again, there's a lot of uh, information out there for people to learn about social media. And I really feel that if it's not dumbed down, but if it's kept simple and easy, um, and you know people can follow that way, it's much easier to create the success that people are really looking to achieve. So what I wanted to do for you guys today was to come on here and go over one simple tip one easy, actionable thing that you can do for your network marketing opportunity if it's health and wellness related so you can start getting better traction. So here is the one best way to use LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram if your network marketing opportunity is health and wellness related. So each one of these platforms is different. So that's what I, I want you guys to understand. So first let's go over Facebook. Okay. Facebook, obviously everyone says the algorithm is changing. Things are different. It's, it's, it's changing and this is getting engagement. That's getting engagement. This isn't, this is everyone's a little bit confused. So there's actually two tips with this. So what you wanna do is post more personal posts, less general, and friends in your opportunity. So, so what I mean by this is this. If you're gonna post about your opportunity, make it very personal to you. If you're gonna do a before and after, make it your own. If you're going to talk about the opportunity from a financial standpoint or what it's done for you, know, you share that story. But also this, when I, what I mean by friends in your opportunity, you wanna make things more personal to you because you want to start impacting people that are not in your opportunity. So if you notice, if you make a post about your opportunity, most of the engagement comes from those that are already in your opportunity. And that really doesn't do you any good. So you want to start to be able to penetrate new people that aren't in your opportunity. So if you're coming on here and you're watching live, say hi. And if you do share this on your personal page or a team page and use the hashtag I shared, I will send you a free download of this. So number one, with Facebook, make your posts more personal, less general. So if you're going to do a before and after, if you're going to do a post that is more related to your opportunity, make sure, make sure that you are talking it more from your point of view 
your transformation, your results. Now, above that, you need to do your best to make sure because you're only allowed 5,000 friends on Facebook, you need to make sure that 75% of your friends list is not in your network marketing opportunity. I'm gonna repeat that. Make sure that 75% of your network marketing opportunity, make sure 75% of your friends are not in your network marketing opportunity. Hi, Laura, good to see you on here. So if you're coming on late, say hi and where you're coming in from. And if you guys would like a free copy of these tips, uh, share this on your personal page or a private team page and then type below hashtag I shared or tag specific people that you want to watch this and I will also send you the link. And again, if I'm coming through loud and clear, either type Y or yes in the chat box or throw some hearts some likes, so I know that people are obviously resonating with this. So number one, with Facebook, make your personal posts more personal, less general, and make sure that 75%, 75% of your friends list are not in your network marketing opportunity. So what does that mean? That means you gotta comb through and you gotta start unfriending certain people that are already in your opportunity or already in another opportunity and they are unrecruitable. If you wanna recruit people into your opportunity, you have to make sure that your friends list supports people that you're actually able to recruit. Hey Sherry, good to see you on here. So again, say hi and where you're coming in from, like or love the video. If you share this, um, oh awesome, uh, good to see you, Baja. Good to see you on here. Bonnie from Ontario. Good to see you, Bonnie. So again, if you're jumping on as Bonnie has done, say hi and where you're coming in from. Like or love the video. If you share this on your personal timeline or on a team page, use the hashtag I shared and I will send you a link for a free download on this content so you can print it out and keep it and use it. So again, for those that are jumping on late, Facebook, more personal posts about your business, about your opportunity, less general, less check out this person's transformation, make it about you, share your transformation, share your story. Andrew Thomas, good to see you, brother. Um, and again, go through your Facebook friends list. Make sure that only 20 to 25% of them are related to your opportunity. You should have a network, you should have a network of 75 to 80% of people not in your opportunity because that means you are able to recruit them. That is the best for Facebook. I see so many people just regurgitating the same information. Ray Higdon made a great post the other day about the bird box. Everyone keeps talking about it. You're doing network marketing. and That is just very clickbaity. You don't want to do that. And he said, you don't want to attract snowflakes into the snowstorm that's called entrepreneurship. You want strong people. Thank you, Bonnie. So number one, that's Facebook. Number two is Instagram. Now on Instagram, the best thing that you can do, be intentional with each post you make how and why you live and the and the way that you do. Now, I see so many people regurgitating the same general shake posts and cleanse posts and transformation posts right onto LinkedIn or right onto Instagram. Instagram is best used, again, when you make this about you and what it could do for other people. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go to Scott double underscore Aaron, or you can just type in Scott Aaron and see how I arrange my Instagram. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull it up so I can show you guys a great way that you can actually have it pulled up. Because again, it's all about being relative. So you can see, here are my tiles. So one, is a quote, these are quote tile, picture, quote tile, and it's it's fluid all the way down. 
you can see it's all it's about me it's using words and this is how you need to use these platforms to get the best information hi kate so again if you're just jumping on say hi and where you're coming in from if you share this content on your personal page or a group page use the hashtag i shared i'm going to send you a free download for this and if you're just jumping on and you missed it if you want to use facebook the right way make your posts more personal less general and more towards not just your friends and your opportunity because when you post about something about your opportunity whether it's a cleanse or a shake or a transformation most people that are going to be liking those posts are people that are unrecruitable and just like i said before you need to make sure that 75 to 80 percent of your friends list on facebook are not related to your opportunity as much as you love those people as much as you love your team you don't need to be friends with them you can follow those people and they can follow you so you can support each other but if you look at your posts the only engagement you're getting are from people that are already in your opportunity if that makes sense type Y or yes in the chat box. Hey, Lisa, good to see you on here. And again, if you guys would like a free download of this, all you need to do is hit the share button, invite people on here from your personal page or a team page, use the hashtag I shared, and I will send you some information on that. Number two, Instagram. Like I said, be intentional with each of your posts, how and why you live the way that you do. So here's the deal. You need to really, thank you so much, Bonnie. I will send you a link a little bit later. Um, and hey, Sherry, good to see you from Tennessee. Kate says, yes, John, what's up? Good to see you that you just jumped on. So again, what you have to understand on Instagram, you have to be intentional with your posts. You, you have to treat each platform differently. You have to make sure that your networks are as recruitable as possible as recruitable as possible. So if your Facebook network is all people in Isogenics and Shackley and Beachbody or whatever opportunity you're with, how are you going to build a business? You need to make sure that your business on Facebook is only 20 to 25% full of people in your opportunity. The rest, 75 to 80% should be not in your opportunity. Same thing with Instagram. You need to make it very personal to you. Put some real good thought into the opportunity. Don't just post pictures of 10% off of this shake and we're starting this. People want to get to know you. You are the brand, you are the business, you just happen to have a great vehicle running beside you that provides the opportunity. If that makes sense, please type Y or yes in the chat box and I will go over this again um, and again. As Bonnie has already done, if you would like a free download of this copy of this information, hit the share button in, on a, a personal page or a business group as Bonnie has done and invite people in here or tag people in the comments section below that you feel need to learn this information. Listen, this stuff is all proven. And the fact of the matter is I read four or five different blogs Social Media News Today, socialmediatoday.com, businessjournal.com, Forbes, Huffington Post, all these things talk about network marketing and marketing and social media. So you only know what you know, so it is my job to bring you guys all the up-to-date latest things. Now, number three is LinkedIn. The way that you need to use LinkedIn, you need to use it to build your business and try building. No product posts. This is driving me nuts because LinkedIn is the most underutilized platform out there. It's proven by socialmediatoday.com. It's 277% more effective for lead generation than Facebook. Now, Facebook is still great for other things, but if you really want to impact your network a specific way, you need to be on LinkedIn building a business. So make your posts more about business and try building. Um, Bonnie says, if someone likes a post on Instagram, do you follow up with them? If they like your post, Bonnie, 
obviously go to their page, follow them, and like their stuff. There's a, there has to be a good flow between you and your following. But on LinkedIn, what I am seeing is people posting shakes and transformations all the time. Hey, Jane, that is not how you use LinkedIn. And I'm telling you right now, for, for network marketers to really, really promote our industry and our profession well and to go against the stigma, you have to understand when you jump on the LinkedIn, you are dealing with a whole different animal. You're dealing with people that are 35 to 55 years old. You are dealing with people that make $100,000 a year or more. So you're dealing with some up-leveled people. They are not the low-hanging fruit. They are not the bottom feeders. They do not want to be sold to. They don't want to be lured in by a before and after. They don't want you to post about this cleanse and this shake. That's not what you use it for. LinkedIn is for business opportunities. Now, type Y or yes in the chat box. If you would love to have a thriving downline of people building a business with you and not just consuming your product, type Y or yes in the chat box. If you would like to have a thriving downline of people building a business with you and not just using your products. This is a very important question that needs to be answered, and it really depends on what you want to do. And Jane says, LinkedIn is specifically for networking. Kale, good to see you on here. Hey, Jules. So you guys have to understand, there are two ways that people build a business. There are, there are happy product sharers, and there are happy business builders. And, and Sherry says, yes, she does. She wants a downline of a thriving business. So what I'm gonna say to Sherry and whoever else is on here live, Andrew, he knows it. He was already enrolling people off of LinkedIn after I coached him. And uh, Bonnie says, yes, if you want to build a team and a downline, for your network marketing opportunity, and you need the law of numbers in your favor, Facebook and Instagram is not going to do that. LinkedIn provides you the platform to have up to 30,000 connections. I've gone from 500 connections to almost 26,000 in just about two and a half years. So if you want to have two to three conversations a day about the business, because all you need to do, the simplicity of network marketing is this, and I want you guys to wrap your, your arms around this. Imagine this, and this is what I teach my clients. Focus on bringing just one new person into your opportunity a month. That's it. One. One new person a month for the business. I'm not talking about anybody that you might enroll for the products. Imagine. Imagine bringing one new person a month into your network marketing business and you focus on that this year. So every month this year, you focus on just one new business builder. So let's say by the end of the year, you have your 12, but half do what they do and they fall off. So you have six people building with you. Let me ask you this, for the people that are on here now, how would it feel by the end of this year to have six people building a business with you. Write in the comment section below how it would feel to have people building a business with you. Because if you want a downline of people building a business with you in a very simplistic way, LinkedIn is where you need to be. So, number one, Facebook, more personal posts, less general, and have less friends have less friends in your opportunity on Facebook. You need 75 to 80% of your friends on Facebook non network marketing related. And Kate said life changing and that's what we're doing together. Kathy says amazing. Number 2, Instagram, be intentional with each of your posts, how and why you live the way that you do. Let 
people in to what you're doing. And number three, LinkedIn, more business and try building posts. No product posts. No product posts. And again, if you guys want a free copy of this information, all you have to do, as Bonnie has already done, use the hashtag I shared after you shared this to either your personal page or a private team group page. Use the hashtag I shared and I will send you some information. And Andrew, you will be able to leave corporate America and Sherry says life changing. So guys, I'm not going to say that you're wasting time on Facebook or Facebook and Instagram, but you can get better results using a platform that supports network marketing and supports having more leads than time. And that is LinkedIn. So guys think about where your time is being spent and the return on what you want from this business. Enjoy the rest of your day guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.